In the time of replication, the enzyme helicase helps in unwinding the double-stranded DNA into two single-stranded DNA strands. And the single-strand binding protein or SSP protein stabilizes them. As the template strands run antiparallelly and the new DNA can be synthesized only 5' prime to 3' prime direction, the chain elongation process occurs differently on the two template strands. Here, the replication process of E. coli is being shown as an example. At first, a RNA primer is synthesized by DNA primers in 5' prime to 3' prime direction. Then, the DNA nucleotides are added to the RNA primer in 5' prime to 3' prime direction by the DNA polymerase 3. The new DNA which is being made in the same direction to the replication fork movement is called the leading strand. On the upper template strand, DNA primase again synthesizes a small RNA primer. After that, DNA nucleotides are added to the RNA primer in 5' prime to 3' prime direction by the DNA polymerase 3. But this new DNA is made in the opposite direction to the replication fork movement and that's why it is called the lagging strand. The short segments of DNA which are being produced during lagging strand formation are called Okazaki fragments. On the other hand, the leading strand's DNA synthesis is continuous. The lagging strand template runs in the opposite direction to the leading strand template. Replication can only run in 5' prime to 3' prime direction, so to continue DNA replication on the lagging strand template, a new RNA primer is synthesized near the replication fork by DNA primase and then it is elongated by the action of DNA polymerase 3 in the opposite direction to the fork movement, thus produce a next Okazaki fragment. So the synthesis of lagging strand is discontinuous and the Okazaki fragments have gaps between them. When a new Okazaki fragment synthesis begins, the previous two Okazaki fragments are joined together by the DNA polymerase 1 into a continuous strand. The DNA polymerase 1 removes the RNA primer and replaces it with DNA. After that nucleotide's replacement, still a single-stranded gap remains between two adjacent nucleotides. That gap is sealed by an enzyme named DNA ligase. It results into a longer continuous DNA strand. As the DNA continues to unwind, this process gets repeated. As the synthesis of one DNA strand is continuous and another is discontinuous, this model is called semi-discontinuous model of DNA synthesis. In the semi-conservative model of DNA replication, each of the two DNA strands acts as a template for the new DNA synthesis. An enzyme named DNA polymerase comes and it selects the nucleotide to form a complementary base pairing with the nucleotide of the template DNA strand. After that, a phosphodiester bond forms between the 3' end of the new strand and the 5' phosphate of the precursor base by the help of the DNA polymerase. This way, two phosphates from the precursor release as a result of this bond formation. As the DNA polymerase moves from the 3' prime to 5' prime direction, the process gets repeated. In the process of synthesis, there are many polymerases who act as proofreaders to detect errors in the base pair formation if there are any. The polymerase can move back and help in removal of the incorrect nucleotide from the end of the new strand if any error occurs. 
after that new correct base gets attached by the polymerase and the synthesis process continues.